Hi, my name is Michelle Kunz. I'm here to talk about the zombie notes, and this zombie notes is called ABG, arterial blood gas interpretation and worksheet. So you have information on the front of how to interpret an arterial blood gas, or ABG. Now, I am a critical care nurse. It took me a long time to really understand arterial blood gases and how to interpret them. Now you can go out there and get a textbook on ABGs and it is immense and it did not help me at all. What I needed was something just like this. Very clear cut, right to the point, what's going on with the patient, what are the numbers, how to interpret it, and of course I'd like to know what that meant for the patient. So that is on here as well. So let's talk about this a little bit because it really makes interpreting arterial blood gases almost easy. So it's almost like we're going to play a game on this handout. So there is an approach. It's a, it's a two-step approach and it tells you how to do it. It tells you to start with the pH, how you're going to name the pH, and then it asks you to look at the CO2 and the bicarb and determine what caused that pH to have a problem. So once you look at this, it really makes sense on how to play that game. And, you know, it talks about, you know, what this pH will be called, whether it's compensated, uncompensated, is it respiratory or is it metabolic, is it acidosis or alkalosis, and it really helps you name the numbers very easily, I promise you. So it talks about the normal ranges of the pH, the CO2, and the bicarb. Um, so just memorizing that is the first step in learning ABGs and always being able to be part of the team that is investigating why your patient's numbers are abnormal. So it helps us identify when we get the pH, what it is, and who's causing the problem. Is it the lungs or is it the kidneys? So once we get that down pat on how to name or label the numbers, and it does become very easy just by looking at this, we can go and we can practice. We can grab the pH, give it a name, see what caused it. Was it the lungs or was it the kidneys? And we can call it, you know, for example, uncompensated metabolic acidosis. It sounds very difficult, but this chart also will give you what are the possible causes. And for example, in that patient, it could be DKA, it could be a renal patient, it could also talk about uh, implications and treatments. So that patient might need fluids, might need insulin, might need sodium bicarb infusion. So it goes through every type of example that we almost can imagine. Now the way to use this as practice, you can practice over and over again. All you have to do is cover up the answers. Start to do your own interpretation, write it down on paper, and then compare your answers and see what you get. Now if you're having any trouble with this, you can always contact me and I can go over how to play the game with you. So it could be fun actually once you grasp this idea. So I'm always willing to help any one of you. So if you're registered for a program, um, you already have my phone number already. If you are not able to register for a program, um, all my study guides are available on Amazon.com. So that's easy to get to as well. If you have any questions about this study guide or any topic, you can contact me um, at, at my website, michellekunz.com. And Michelle has one L, so it's michellekunz.com for any information on arterial blood gas interpretation or any of the other study guides that you see or any questions in general related to nursing or healthcare. Thank you for your time.